And now for something even more exciting, how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. So, again, you've been doing this for some years now, how to add or subtract numerical fractions. If you're asked to do this, how would you go about doing it? Well, you'd want to convert this fraction and this fraction into fractions that had the same common denominator, the same numbers on the bottom. And some of you may have been shown a nice quick method for doing this whereby you, first of all, multiply the two denominators together. So 7 times 5 gives me 35. And then you think to yourself, right, well, I've times this number by 5, so I've got to times this numerator by 5 as well. 3 times 5 is 15. And over here, I times this by 7, so I've got to times the top by 7 times 14. And we dab them together. In this case, we're going to get 29. 35ths, and in this particular case, we can't cancel them down. Well, as before, you're going to do exactly the same when you haven't got numbers, but you've got letters instead, because you're dealing with algebraic fractions. Let's take a look at this first basic example, a over b plus c over d. first thing we need to do is to get a common denominator, and the easiest way to do it is just to multiply the two denominators together. So in this case, our new common denominator is b times d, or bd. And then you're going to cross multiply, because we've multiplied b by d, we're going to multiply a by d. And on this bit, on this fraction, we multiply d by b, so we're going to multiply c by that b as well. And we're going to end up with bc. And then the final thing we're going to do in this case is we're going to add two bits together on the top, to express it as a single fraction. So that is how you add algebraic fractions. That's the process. So what does it actually look like in practice? Here's the first example. Imagine you've got 2 over x plus 1 added to 3 over x plus 2. How are we going to go about doing this? Well, first of all, we're going to multiply the two denominators together to get our common denominator. And in this case, I'm not going to bother expanding the brackets out when I've done this. I'm just going to leave it as x plus 1, in brackets, x plus 2. And again, to save a little bit of time, I'm not going to write them out as separate fractions. I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to do this numerator times this denominator. And then, really important point here, this is a plus, so let's put that in plus 3 times whatever this is, x plus 1. And what we need to do now is to expand out the brackets on the top and tidy up and simplify. So let's expand the brackets on the top. 2x plus 4 plus 3x plus 3. All still over x plus 1, x plus 2. And then to tidy up a little bit further, 5x plus 7 all over x plus 1, x plus 2. And there is another fraction, a uh, single fraction, in its simplest terms. We can't cast this down any further. We're just going to leave it as, it as it is. So that's how you add a relatively straightforward, uh, two relatively straightforward algebraic fractions. OK, now let's try a subtraction. Well, it's exactly the same process. The only tweak this time is, remember, because we're taking away, we've got to remember we're taking away two lots of something. So when we come to multiply stuff out, you may end up multiplying negatives together. Let's just give it a go. First of all, what will my common denominator be? y minus 2 times y plus y. I'm going to stick that on the bottom. Now what goes on the top? We're going to do my cross multiplying. Take my fingers. 3 times y plus 1. And I'm going to take away two lots of y minus Let's expand the brackets on the top. 3y plus 3. Now do this bit. Take 2y plus 4. This is where a lot of people go wrong. because remember, remember, it's minus 2 times minus 2. So it's plus 4 there. All over y minus 2. y plus 1. Let's tidy it up a bit further. 3y take away 2y is y. 3 plus 4 plus 7 all over y minus 2 
y plus 1. So there we are. That, these are two relatively straightforward examples for you to refer to. What I'm going to do next in the next video is a couple more slightly complex examples because you need to play about with the fractions first before you start combining them.